In this media, you are going to learn about the effect of slack chain in marine diesel engines and the ways to rectify it. For a marine diesel engine, the exhaust valve, fuel pump, cylinder lubricator, starting air distributor, engine governor, etc., are directly or indirectly driven by a gear train or chain drive from the crankshaft. Chain drive is mostly used due to its less space consumption, maintenance, and cost. Gear train gives lifelong service, but chain drives need replacements periodically. The roller chain usually comprises roller links and pin links, alternately as shown in the figure. Each pin link has two pins riveted between two side plates. A roller link has two rollers free to rotate on two respective bushings. The pins fit within the bushings of two adjacent roller links. Chains are usually replaced with new ones after around 15 years of service. It is advisable to replace the chain and sprocket simultaneously. Check for wear and freeness in rollers and links moving on the pins and bushings. Assess the extent of wear or displacement in the rubber-clad guide ways. Examine the teeth of the sprocket wheels and assess the wear, if required, by using a profile gauge. Roller material is usually less hardened than the sprocket material, hence the wear will be more in the rollers than the sprocket. The chain, however, elongates on account of wear on the bushings and rollers, leading to change in the pitch of the chain. This elongation leads to delayed transfer of the rotational motion of the crankshaft to the other items driven by it. In effect, the instant at which the fuel pump or, say, the exhaust valves get to operate are altered, and this affects the operating working cycle of each cylinder. Slack chain drive results in possibility of poor combustion in all the units leading to relatively higher exhaust temperatures and dark smoke. Besides, this increased slackness leads to excessive vibration and slapping in the chain drive and ultimately leads to the failure of the links by way of cracking. Elongation of the chain can be assessed by moving the chain at the mid-length of the longest free length and this should not exceed one chain pitch. The tension can then be adjusted by tightening of the tensioning wheel. If the slackness cannot be made good by full tensioning, two adjacent pin links are removed with their common roller link. The ends of the chain thereafter are brought together and joined up by riveting in a new pin link. The bending moment on the links while they revolve around the sprocket, alternating stresses on the link as they pass from the driving to the driven side, and centrifugal forces acting on the links all contribute to the failure of the chain drive. Routine maintenance of the chain drive usually consists of periodic examination to check the wear of the chain, profile of the chain wheel teeth and wheel bearings, and freeing up of any seized rollers. Checking the tension of the chain and correcting the same if needed is a part of routine maintenance. Thus, you have learnt about the effect of slack chain in marine diesel engines and the ways to rectify it.